to another Minecraft tutorial by Big Big Gaming. I'm here, um, giving you another tutorial on, or not, yeah, I'm giving, I'm here giving you another tutorial, <laughs> but, um, this time it's going to be on World Edit. So, you can do all kinds of things with World Edit by, uh, just getting yourself a very nice state. Like, for instance, this whole base pretty much, actually, yeah, this whole base was made out of World Edit, or made, not out of World Edit, made with World Edit. So, there's a lot of fun stuff you can do with World Edit, but if you don't get it right, then it can be super tricky to get rid of. So I'm gonna giving I'm gonna be giving you like a couple tips and tricks to get the job done and you just kind of be up to date on World Edit. So you can always like learn the basics by of course going on the plugin website and, and everything like that to find out more about it. But you can always find these videos too. So everyone knows this command usually but if you don't slash slash wand is how you get the wand that makes world edit work you get a wooden axe that says left click to select position one right click to select position two so let's say we right click one area then we left click another area and remember you gotta make sure you're watching about the height too it's not just one area after the other area the height wise is a big big difference so let's set this to wool. Or no, oh, wooled. Um, another thing with world edit is you always have to do slash slash before every single command, and wood will work. So as you can see, the area that we selected turns to wooden planks, which in other words, wood. So let's say you have this done and everything like that, and you really, really like the pathway and blah, blah, blah and then all of a sudden you say, you know what? I don't want it to be wood anymore, I want it to be yellow wool. So you can easily, just as long as you still have the exact same um, position set, then you can do it. So that, it, it's easy to do. You can also do replace 35 colon 4 for whatever block you want, including multiple blocks. So let's say you didn't want just oak planks. You wanted you want oak planks, spruce planks, and birch planks. So you can do that kind of thing too. You can set multiple areas. And then to get rid of it, you can either just set it to whatever block is around it, or you can do slash slash undo, which will bring stuff back. Slash slash redo, which will take stuff away and stuff like that. No, it does what it says pretty much. It redoes if you meant to. Un you didn't mean to undo something, and um, you can undo if you didn't mean to, like have that there or something like that. Um, now we can move on to something a little bit more technical. So let's say you wanted to have a a giant cylinder, yeah, just a cylinder. You can do that kind of stuff as well. You can do normal cylinders, hollow cylinders. Any types of blocks. So let's do cylinder. Let's do 44 colon 3. No, no, no. Let's do, yeah, 44 colon 3. And uh, let's make it 15 blocks wide and 1 block tall. So now you get yourself cobblestone slabs. And it is in. It's 15 blocks wide. And it is 1 block tall. And again, slash slash undo undoes what you just did the last command now if you do like a bunch of undos it won't exactly work you can only go up to 20 undos at a, at once so let's say you do a bunch of stuff and then you realize something wrong after like 20 things has already been gone through then it just will not work at all because you will already have those 20 undos done sorry about that um, so yeah, it, it's it gets complicated sometimes, but not that complicated. Remember, you can also do like I said with the hollow cylinder and hollow sphere, hollow everything like that. You add an H to the beginning, so you have H C Y L instead of normal C Y L, and instead let's make it ten tall. So now we get that effect instead, where it's hollow, so there's nothing in the middle, and it's just like that tall and everything like that. So oh, now to move on to another kind of complicated thing which is spheres instead of cylinders. Spheres you usually want to do in the air because they tend to go underground if you're standing on the ground. So simple simple you just type slash slash sphere this is the simple part. Complicated part is getting exactly what you want in the exact same size you want. So let's say glowstone could try to make a sun. 
and let's make it 10 blocks by 10 blocks. So just right. It's gonna lag a little bit. What the? Can I? Oh geez, okay, okay. So let's not do 10 by 10. Let's just do 10. There we go. We got a little bit of lag because of it. So now you get yourself a 10 by 10 sphere in the air. So that's like that, and the exact same thing works with hollow spheres. If you add the H to the front and do the same stuff after the H sphere. Um. Another command you can do is you can select two positions that you want just to be the outer sides and stuff like that. Type slash slash walls. I think it's either walls or walls. Let's say one. Yeah, so it's walls. And it just fills in the walls. So that's very nice. So let's undo that. Let's get rid of this dirt. Grass, dirt, whatever you want to call it. And um, that's that's a little bit of good briefing and stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm going to finish out the video with copying and pasting different things. So let's say you have yourself a structure over here, but then you realize, wrong area, I need to move it. Easily fixable. You stand where you want it to be copied from. Let's say you're flying up here. It's going to copy it just like that. So if you land down here thinking, I want to copy here, nope, it's going to copy down in the world because you copied it up here. So you want to copy right on top of it like this, right next to it. So stash dash copy. Now you say three blocks you want it to be moved over. Okay, three blocks. There we go. And you take. Oh, okay, so I'd be standing here if it was over here. Dash dash paste. Hey, there you go. Now you have yourself both sides the exact same, and you can just destroy the other one and then keep the other one. Stuff like that. It makes it really really easy for some things. You can just paste 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 paste, and it works and it looks beautiful. Remember, like it can get complicated with copying and pasting though and I'll do a separate video on just copying and pasting and stacking and everything like that which will as I said be a whole different video um, I, th I think that's about it it's not that hard once you get a hang of those main commands right there and yeah if you have any more questions about world edit you can just post them right in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible with a reply thanks a lot and subscribe if you haven't already leave a like on the video if you really liked it if not, don't dislike it. Just leave it normal. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, have a great day, everyone. See ya.